In this project, we will simulate a fin tube heat exchanger. The geometry of the present project is designed in ANSYS Design Modeler software. The meshing of the present project is carried out using ANSYS meshing software, and the mesh tab used for its geometry is structured in upstream and downstream part and unstructured in the main part. By clicking on the subscribe button, you will be informed about the newest CFD training videos by Mr. CFD. Or if you are watching the training video, click on the Master CFD logo and subscribe. Now there are several assumptions taken into account for this project. First, the type of our solver is defined as pressure based since we are dealing with incompressible flows. Second, we have selected the absolute formulation for velocity. And third, we have selected a steady time study since we didn't want our results to be a function of time. Also, if you click on the thermal tab, you can see the temperature of this flow. There are two ways to check that your simulation process have reached convergence or not. Alongside checking the residuals reaching and nearing zero, you may define an arbitrary report or an arbitrary boundary in order to calculate different parameters like pressure, velocity, temperature, and see whether they reach a constant value or not. If yes, it may be a sign that your simulation process have reached convergence. However, you must check the residuals as well. To create such report, you can simply right-click on Report Definitions, go over New, and select one of the options available based on your simulation. After double-clicking on the initialization button, a new window will appear showing you different methods of initialization, hybrid and standard. Now, in the standard initialization method, you get to choose the first amounts and values for the first iteration of the simulation progress. These values refer to the values used in the first iteration of the simulation progress and if you choose the values for each parameter wisely, your simulation progress will finish sooner. It should be mentioned that you can also choose the first values and in, or the initial values by just clicking on the compute from drop down list and clicking on one boundary. For example, by clicking on compute from all zones the software will automatically average the values in different zones and boundaries and put those values in the initial values for the software. Now in this slide you can clearly see the temperature distribution inside our computational dummy. Again on the low left side of the software window in front of the method we select XY plane and we set the value of Z equal to zero so that a plane will be generated in the middle section of our geometry. Now in this slide you can clearly see the streamlines of the airflow passing through our computational domain. Also you can easily see the vortices generated inside our computational domain which has a result of increasing the heat transfer rate. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. In this project, the heat transfer inside a fin and tube heat exchanger is investigated. Fin and tube heat exchangers are fin tubes whose main purpose is to create a wider surface about 20 to 30 times larger than the surface of a normal heat exchanger. As a result, the volume of the converters as well as the economic efficiency and efficiency of the process are greatly increased. These pipes not only improve heat transfer by reducing energy consumption, but also prevent problems such as sediment accumulation in the pipes and cause the internal fluid to overflow and increase the transfer rate and ultimately reduce heat in shortest time. Energy, equ Energy equation is activated to obtain temperature distribution inside the computational domain. Since in this analysis, the shear stress resulting from the movement of fluid on the surface of the heat exchanger is very important, SSTK Omega model is exploited to solve turbulent flow equations and the ideal gas model has been used to determine the density changes in proportion to temperature. The geometry of the present project is designed in ANSYS Design Modeler software. It should only be pointed out that this geometry only consists of a segment of the heat exchanger and since a heat exchanger usually has symmetry, so we've tried to use this feature and instead of solving the flow in the whole heat exchanger, this analysis has been done only in a part of the heat exchanger. The meshing of the present project is carried out using ANSYS meshing software and the mesh tab used for its geometry is a structured in upstream and downstream part and unstructured in the main part. The element number is equal to 
890,710. To benefit from Mr. CFD services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com.